Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So uh, welcome to your readings for the month of October 2018. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and returning if you are doing so. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And because these are general readings, the energies can be switched. They can go either way. So just take it as it resonates for your specific situation. And if, does, if something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit because then that will only confuse you. Yeah. Um, I do want to extend a very happy birthday to all of the Libras, since in the Western system, we are in Libra season. Happy, very, a very happy birthday to you and a very happy birthday to the October Scorpios. Yes, because we will be moving into your season in late October. Now, if you are you, if you resonate more with the Eastern system, of which I do personally, then we are still technically in Virgo season. So very happy birthday to the Virgos out there that resonate with the Eastern system. Yeah. Um, if you don't know which side you resonate with more, uh, I have provided some links in the description box below. If you like, you can go to those links and you can put in your birth uh, data and calculate your, your birth chart for both the Western and the Eastern system and see which one you resonate with. For me personally, I grew up believing I was a Taurus sun, but then when I started investigating and learning about Eastern astrology, I learned that I'm actually an Aries sun and that kind of fits a lot better. I resonate with that much more. There is no absolute answer as to which system it's, is better. It's really all about what you resonate with the most. And of course, depending on no matter which side you're on, still watch the videos. They can resonate at whichever, in whichever way is best for you. Okay. That is all your decision. Either way, the readings are here for you to watch. Yeah. So, um, just a little bit of shop talk. I am available for personal readings. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can get my email address from the description box below, as well as a list of all of the readings that I offer. Um, if you cannot decide which reading would work best for you after going through the different options, you're still welcome to email me and we can chat a little bit about what is going on with your situation and I will help you decide which reading would be best for you. Yes. I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. If you would like to schedule a time to meet with me and have an in-person reading, in -person reading for face to face, you can find the link to the website for Om Shanti in the description box below. And once you get to the website, you will find their phone number. You are encouraged to give a call and let them know if you would like to book a reading ahead of time. Otherwise, walk-ins are 100% absolutely welcome. Just come on down whenever you have a chance. Yeah. For the readings this month, we're doing the same as we did as last month. So we're go using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, you guys. It's so pretty. And then, of course, we're finishing out with my best friends, the unicorns. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So... I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to the readings, guys. <laughs> Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the month of October 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get straight into it. Hmm. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Gemini for the month of October 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Gemini. Let's get into this, shall we? Just going to give this a few shuffles for you, and we'll see what comes out. One more shuffle, Gemini. Go. 
All right. Overall energy for you, Gemini. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. So you guys are really working. You're working really hard. You're persistent. You're persevering. You're doing the hard work. You're putting in the extra time, the extra credit, um, the extra hours even. You're really determined. You're really focused on the details here also. You've got the Nine of Cups. So you're really working towards something that would be really fulfilling for you. Okay? You're, you're actively making your wishes and your dreams come true. You've got the Fool here. But then you also have the Three of Swords underneath everything. This is not so bad. I really feel like this is in the past. This is a driving force. Okay? This is an energy from that you learned from recently. And so now you are embarking on a brand new journey towards wish fulfillment, and you're really doing the work to manifest that, okay? That's a good thing, Gemini. That's a really, really good thing. Let's get into the energies for the month. So the surrounding energies for the first half of the month, starting you out with... Aha, the King of Cups. This could be you. You could be uh, connecting with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, I just feel like, especially in uh, light of the Three of Swords underneath the deck, you have the Eight of Pentacles, um, the Fool, and the Nine of Cups here in your overall energy. I really feel like this is this is you, Gemini. Um, this is really... Or this could be someone coming towards you, okay? So even all of this energy here could be another person that you're connecting with. Again, these are general readings. The energies are interchangeable, okay? Um, but someone is really moving forward with what they find to be truly emotionally fulfilling or someone that is just, they're very much, they're very much in love. It could be um, coming forward and saying, hey, I want to do this, okay? The King of Cups is coupled with, yeah, look at that, the Ace of Cups. All right. So you've got someone either coming towards you wanting to offer you some sort of love um, or this could be you wanting to move forward. And if you don't have someone to actively offer this to, like if you're not actively uh, 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 interested in someone right now, I feel like you're doing the work in order to eventually uh, come across someone or kind of have a situation in which you can make this offer of love to. Okay, I'm also hearing commitment. Second set of surrounding energies for the first half of the month, we've got the Queen of Swords. Could be a divorcee, um, or it just could be someone you could be connecting. Now, I feel like this is the energy of the other person, okay? This is someone that's really not, um, not about the drama, okay? She's very independent, he or she, it doesn't matter. It could, it's just energy, it's not gender. Um, but, uh, but I also heard passive aggressive. Mm. It could be an air sign. It could be you, Gemini. Uh, but it could be another air sign. The Queen of Swords is coupled with, aha, the Queen of Wands. So, Gemini, you could be this, this person right here embodying both air and fire energy, being very uh, charismatic, very um, magnetic, magical, popular, uh, social, beautiful, attractive, um, and attracting a mate towards you, but still maintaining your queen of swords status or energy being like, look, I'm not here for the drama. Or if you realize that like, if there's some sort of red flags that go up here, you're instantly just like, nope, next. <laughs> okay. That's either you, Gemini, most likely could be just because, you know, queen of swords is the air sign, or it could be the other person that you are moving towards with the king of cups here. Okay. Either way, someone is making some moves. Okay. Whoever's embodying the king, the king of cups energy is very much moving forward. And the other person is very much like, I'm here for it, but I'm not here for the drama. Okay. Cool. The current challenge for the first half of the month, you've got <laughs> the counterparts, the king of wands. Someone is very, <laughs> someone is very forward. Someone is probably pretty aggressive with it. And it's not like they're trying to be aggressive or intimidated. It's just they're very sure of themselves. They know what they want. And they're going to go after it, okay? The King of Wands is coupled with the Ace of Pentacles. Let me tell you, look, and I really feel like this King of Wands is probably the same person as this King of Cups here who is really ready to make an offer. Now, it could be two other people. I mean, these could be two separate people. And I'm seeing here... 
probably Gemini, you're in the, you might be in the middle of some of two people. One that's offering you like love and commitment. The other, uh, really, that's really offering you love and emotional value, emotional stability. And then you have the challenge here of another one who is the, the King of Wands, who's offering some sort of material. Now, with the King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, it might just be, it might just be intimacy, like sex. It would be more so if the King of Wands came out with the Ace of Wands. That, to me, would just be straight up, this is really just about sex. But... It could be that with the Ace of Pentacles, but I just feel like it's mostly someone that's really fat, fiery, and passionate, and and wants to offer a commitment here. Okay, um, and that could be why this is the challenge because Gemini, I don't know, maybe you're not necessarily open to that sort of that sort of commitment, so that could be why it's a challenge for you. The potential outcome for the first half of the month you have the Six of Swords, so moving. Oh, moving forward, moving from rocky waters to calmer waters, okay? Six of Swords is coupled with ah, the High Priestess. Interesting. So there could, there could be some, you could be moving silently forward, um, not really speaking too much about the moves that you're trying to make. Um, Give me a second. I'm just trying to channel in this message here. It's about, and honestly, I'm what I'm really getting here is being very in tune with your intuition and moving in a direction that is best suiting you, but not really saying too much about it. Regardless of what these people here are trying to do, you're going to go in your own direction and you're just not going to be too vocal about it until you actively get there and then you're just gonna be like here I am come get me here that kind of thing okay for the second half of your month this uh, first set of surrounding energies you've got the nine of wands so someone is really persevering here okay nine of wands is coupled with judgment persevering towards something that is like a higher calling hearing the call resurrection redemption uh second chances reconciliation um, someone is battered and bruised here, but is really trying to have a fresh start with someone new is what I just heard. That could be you, Gemini, or it could be the person that's coming towards you, Gemini, okay? And this Nine of Swords, I'm sorry, Nine of Wands energy could have a lot to do with the Six of Swords energy that is in the outcome or the potential outcome for the first half of the month, okay? The second set of surrounding energies for the second half of the month, you've got the Eight of Swords. All right. Eight of Swords is coupled with death, transformation. Um, this is a transformation after feeling trapped in some way or feeling trapped and needing to come out of that, feeling stuck. Um, I'm also getting an energy of... Someone doesn't really want to transform. There is a transformation that's at hand here, but someone doesn't really want to move forward with it. Also, this could be Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here um, and feeling trapped by them, potentially. Hmm. Okay. The, uh, put the, the, the challenge for the second half of the month, you've got Chariot, Cancer. Moving forward in a new direction. Uh, maintaining balance of the emotions and allowing that to propel you forward. Traveling. The chariot is coupled with the queen of cups. So you've got more counterparts here. You've got the king of cups and you've got the queen of cups. Now the queen of cups is very intuitive. Okay, just like the high priestess. The Queen of Cups is a lot like the High Priestess to me because to me, the Queen of Cups is someone that doesn't really speak or express their emotions much. Like she's very in tune with them. She knows what's going on with herself emotionally, but she just doesn't, she's not very expressive about them all the time. She tends to keep them to herself. Um, and actually this is a very good partner or a good balance between emotions when it comes to the chariot here because... Um, it's just emotional balance. Now, 
The challenge here is maintaining that emotional balance and moving forward in a new direction. And that is very much, that could very much be connected to the transformation that needs to happen here in which someone is feeling trapped with the Eight of Swords and death, okay? The potential outcome for the second half of the month, Gemini, you have the Knight of Swords. Moving forward, this could be you, Gemini, some sort of communication, um, but it could be reckless. The Knight of Swords is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. I really feel like there is an energy of someone coming forward and trying to get someone else to let go of what they've been holding on to so dearly, so tightly for a long time. Um, that could backfire, guys. Just gonna, I, I'm just... And I feel like this is probably the Gemini that might put forward that Knight of Swords energy, but just be careful because if someone really is refusing to let go of something, you can't force them to do so. All right? So just be aware. Try and be as tactful as possible. I mean, that is such a contradictory energy, the Knight of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. So I really feel like that is two separate people. One person is holding on to something for dear life and probably needs to let it go, probably needs to release it. And the Knight of Swords is another person trying to come forward and get them to release this thing. We'll see. Here, let's go into your Oracle Guidance for the month from the Unicorn. Gemini for the month of October. What you got for us, unicorns? Here we go. Growth. Okay, this has been coming out a lot. <laughs> and then underneath the deck, I'm just going to put it underneath the deck because you're a Gemini. But here we have growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. So especially if you've got someone coming towards you that's trying to be like, yo, you need to release this, maybe take their advice. Yeah. And then you got polarity underneath the bottom of the deck. And I thought it was just so perfect for Gemini, so I wanted to pull it here. Integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. So just bring it into balance, guys. Okay? All right, Gemini. So there it is. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you guys again for the month of November. Yeah? Much love. Take care. Mwah. Bye.